What's up everybody? Happy 4th of July and today we're going to tell you how you can make America a better place by one simple thing. And it's really one simple thing, but it's going to be three simple questions. So let's set it up a little bit. Uh, I get the chance to lead a lot of meetings and um, when I get to lead meetings, um, one of the things I love to do when I, I should do it every time is this, and I would encourage you to do this. If you're in a position to lead meetings, whether it's in church or whether it's in um, the corporate world, or even with, maybe with your family, this would be a good thing to do, is to ask uh, these um, three questions. Uh, one is, what are we doing well? What are we doing well? And the reason you gotta ask that, and some people don't wanna ask, what are we doing well? You wanna go straight to the second question. The reason it's important to ask, what are we doing well, is this, is that um, you may do things, do a good job of some things, but if you don't pay attention to the things that you do a good job with, you might quit the notice, quit noticing those things. And what could happen very easily in your organization is this, is that if you don't notice them over time, you will quit doing them. And when you quit doing them, you'll never notice you quit doing them, but your customers or the people that are your part of your organization will notice. So you want to pay attention to the things you're doing well and celebrate them so that you don't lose them. Because if you don't pay attention to them, they will drift off. So first question, what are we doing well? Second question, and this is going to tie into how we can like bless our country, what we can do to make our country a better place like today, right now. I, I promise it's going to tie in. Second question I ask at a meeting is this, what can we get better at? Um, and some personalities don't like this question. I love this question. What can we get better at? Sort of pick out some flaws, some things that are not good. But not only things that are not good, but they're things that we can get better at. You know, like we want things that are under somewhat under our control, which is probably more than we want to admit. Um, and so number two, what can we get better at? And then number three, what are we going to do about it? So. Here's how it ties in. Um, in our country, there's this big divide between people and not everyone falls into these categories, but a lot of people fall into these categories. One category is the social justice warrior. And um, here's what social justice warriors have figured out is that our country is not anywhere close to perfect. And there's a lot of problems and there's problems in our past, there's problems in our present, there's gonna be problems in our future and there's injustice and all that's absolutely true. And yes, like social justice warriors answer question number two all the time, what's wrong? Uh, but social justice warriors, if that's sort of where you fall, like you sort of have a negative view of America, then I would encourage you to ask question number one, what are we doing well? Like this, it's the 4th of July, it's a great time to do this. What, what, do, what does the United States of America do well? And if you have a hard time answering or allowing yourself to answer that question, it means that you may have put blinders on and all you see is the negative. And the problem is if all you see is the negative about our country, you're not paying attention to the good. And there are some good things, even though you may not hear a lot about them, okay? There are some really good things about our country, some unbelievably good things about our country. People are desperate to come here. Um, we, we, I don't even want to start mentioning them. They're, like you can figure out what the good things are. That's part of the idea is that you ask yourself honestly, what are we doing well? And here, if if you don't like to answer that question because you're sort of on the side that says America's got a lot of problems, if you don't think about and acknowledge the things that we're doing well, eventually we will cease to do them. And so things might not be perfect now, but what if we're in a place one day where we don't respect rights of individual people, the rights of free speech, or there are all these just unbelievably great things that happen in our country, or the ability to, um, to, to go like the move up the ladder of like income as far as your family, or the ability to get out of poverty potentially. I mean, there's a lot of cool things. And so if you have a heart, you focus on the negatives about our country, ask yourself the question, uh, what are we doing well, uh, what are we doing well? Because if we don't ask the question, if we don't acknowledge and celebrate the things that we're doing well on the 4th of July, come on, we're probably gonna quit doing them and we don't want to quit doing them. It would be a shame to land 50 years into the future and um, America has quit doing the things that we do well because we never acknowledge them. So celebrate the things that we do well in America. Number two, 
is this, is um, the question number two, and here's who it ties into. Some of us are like America's the best, which maybe we are the best country that's ever existed. We certainly are the country that provides the most opportunity. We've certainly given away more money to people that are suffering in poverty around the world than any other country ever in the history of the world. So, there, so the, there's a second group of people that would say, man, we've got it going on and, and you don't want to view the faults of our country. Um, you just want to celebrate the good. But part of being a patriot is this, is well, it, with rights come responsibility. So you celebrate all the rights we have as Americans, as you should. But with rights come responsibility. Rights and responsibility, it's like two sides of the same sword. They've got to go together. And one of your responsibilities is to make it better. And so how can you make it better if you don't find areas that need to be better? So the second question we could ask is, what, what do we need to, to become better at? What are some things we can do a better job? And ask it honestly. And, and wait and like listen for an answer. Um, was, here's what's weird. An answer will come to mind. And when I say what can we get better at, what I don't mean is this, is that point the finger at you liberal Democrats, that's the problem. Or point your finger at you neo-conservative people and you're the problem. But saying what can we get better at? What are the people problems, the ways we can help people that we can get better at? Don't politicize it, but make it focused on people. What can we get better at? And question number three is, what should I do about it? So here's how you make America better today. Today, sit down, stand up, drive, whatever you're doing, and do this. Ask the question, what are we doing well? And take a minute to be thankful for that. One, because you should be thankful. Man, we live in a great country. But also knowing that as you show gratitude for the things that we do well in our culture, you sort of help ensure that we don't quit doing those things. So gratitude and thankfulness for what we do well is vital. And it's the 4th of July. We can celebrate freedom in all the different forms that we have it in our country. Celebrate the good things. Question number two, you patriots that want to make, like you love this country. Ask yourself, what can we do better? And wait for an answer. And wait for an answer that's not pointing the finger at other people. Wait for the answer that's like a genuine, like what can we, what's something we should get better at as a, as a, like as a, as a city, as a, as, a, as a family, as a city, as a state, as a country, what's something we should get better at? Then here's the third one. And take a minute to think about it. Like let it, like listen, if you're a follower of Jesus, um, listen for his spirit. Don't you, did you, don't you believe that he can speak to you? So maybe there's something specific that he wants us to get better at, that God wants us to get better at, and he wants to speak that into you through you. So say, what can we get better at? And listen. And question number three. Once you take time to do that, ask, what should I do? What should my family do? And then do it. And then do it. And today, if you will have the guts to honestly ask, and wait for an answer and wait and listen a little bit. What should I be thankful for? What do we need to work on? And like, what do I need to do about it? You know what? It's like things have gotten better already. The moment you do that, things have gotten a little bit better because you, like you're a citizen of this, you're a part of this country, you're, you're a member of this culture. And one of our core values as a culture is that human beings are made somehow in the image of God and are really important. And the moment that a human being decides to listen to that voice and be grateful and to listen to that voice and ask what we should do better and to listen to that voice and say, what should I do? The moment you decide to do that, things have already gotten a little bit better. Then, and what could happen if you go out and did something about it? So, happy 4th of July. Let's do our part to make our, our homes and our cities and our state and our country better by saying, what are we doing well? And be grateful and like celebrating, celebrating like crazy today. What can we get better at? And what do I need to do? And then, when you ask those questions, we've already gotten a little bit better. Happy 4th of July.